Under Rule 16 of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, or FRCP, district courts may order pretrial conferences for the purpose of managing case proceedings and issue scheduling orders establishing the case schedule and future course of action. The purpose of these conferences and orders are to expedite disposition of the action, establish control so the case won't be prolonged due to lack of management, discourage wasteful pretrial activities, improve the quality of trial through preparation, and facilitate settlement. In Acuna v. Brown and Root, the Fifth Circuit considered whether a court had discretion to issue a scheduling order in a mass tort action. In the 1990s, Crescencio Acuna and over 1,000 other plaintiffs sued Brown and Root and various other companies in Texas state court for personal injuries and property damage arising from uranium mining and processing activities. Around the same time, Rebecca Garcia and roughly 600 other plaintiffs sued an overlapping group of defendants in Texas state court, alleging similar claims for the same activities in another part of Texas. The defendants removed the cases to federal district court. In the cases, the plaintiffs alleged various injuries and different durations, intensities, and means of exposure. In both cases, the federal district court issued pre-discovery scheduling orders that required the plaintiffs to establish some elements of their claims through expert affidavits. These affidavits required each plaintiff to specify the injury suffered, the materials or substances that caused the injury, the dates of exposure, and the scientific and medical basis for the expert opinions. In response to the order, the plaintiffs in the Acuna case submitted over 1,000 form affidavits from a single expert that generally identified the plaintiff's claims. In addition, the plaintiffs in the Garcia case submitted one affidavit from an expert for all the plaintiff's claims. The district court judge found the affidavits didn't meet the specificity requirements of the scheduling orders and gave the plaintiffs another month to comply. The plaintiffs in both cases then filed supplemental affidavits that didn't provide any new information regarding the specific claims of most of the plaintiffs. The district court found the supplemental affidavits again failed to meet the specificity requirements of the scheduling orders and dismissed the cases. The plaintiffs appealed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit.